Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today you will learn how to do the V-sit. It's the harder version of the L-sit and I will teach you step by step on how to get your L-sit hold to then move to the V-sit. All you need is scapular strength and core strength which will include the hip flexors and if you train them enough you will see that the L-sit and the V-sit it's gonna be a piece of cake. So for the scapular strength, the best exercise to do is the scapular push-up. Normally, the scapular push-ups are done like this, but we don't wanna do the push-up, we wanna do the L-sit. So you're gonna sit on the floor with your legs in front of you, and all you're gonna do is just push the floor as much as you can. That is the key for this exercise, okay? So again, just push, And you can do also um, just holds at the top. So you can hold it for 10 seconds or even longer. Now, for the core and hip flexors, the best exercise is the leg lifts. Back straight. Place your hands at the position um, that you can lift your legs. The further you go with your um, hands from your body, the harder it is and the closer you get to your body, the easier it's going to be to lift your legs. And if it's still too difficult for you, you can, instead of doing with both legs, you can do just with one leg. And here again, um, you can hold the position at the top uh, with one leg or then you can do with both legs okay these guys are the two exercises that will really, uh, help you get the l-sit in no time now how to do the v-sit the v-sit you not only need the strength but you're also going to need flexibility and mobility and you can only achieve that by doing stretching the hamstring is the muscle that doesn't allow you to do the perfect with straight legged uh, v-sit all you have to do is just lean forward uh, with your torso towards your knees always keep your back straight and you hold that position and if you want you can do a little bit of reps to really uh, stretch those hamstrings and the stretching is what is going to take you uh, longer to achieve the v-sit that is why you have to be consistent with stretching to progress uh, very fast to achieve the v-sit and guys uh, I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos. Let's see you next time. Thank you and see ya.